Welcome to our lecture online. So here we have a problem dealing with dimensional analysis, a very important topic in physics. And can we then do this problem very quickly so we can move on to the next problem on the test? So first of all, um, they're telling us to match list one with list two. List one has Planck's constant, kinetic energy, electrical potential, linear momentum, and list two has four combinations of dimensions. And then one of these should be the correct answer where we have, you know, A either belongs to 2, A belongs to 1, A belongs to 3, and then so forth for all the other ones. How can we run through this quickly? Well, you may not remember Planck's constant. You may not remember the units of Planck's constant. So what is easy to remember? Well, first of all, kinetic energy and linear momentum are kind of easy to work with. Because we know that kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv squared, which means unit-wise we have kilogram meter squared per second squared, which means we have mass length squared divided by time squared. So here we have mass length squared divided by time squared, so right away we realize that kinetic energy is associated with number 3. So that means that B and 3 belong together. Now notice, there's only one where B is associated with 3. The other ones do not match that, so right away it must be A, and you move on, you don't check the others. Now, this saves you a lot of time, but what if you're just not sure, you have this lingering doubt? Well, you could try one more. Another easy one, for example, try linear momentum, P equals MV, and so unit-wise, that is kilograms, meters per second. In other words, mass length divided by time, which is right here, mass length divided by time, which means that number four, or D, linear momentum, matches up with number one. So, uh, D right here, well, we have this one, this one, and this one, the three possibilities, but we know that this is correct, so that means that we have another one that matches as well. So now you're even more sure you're on the correct path. But at least you can see that you don't have to do all of them. You can do one or two and be assured that you're probably correct and then you move on. And that is a quicker way to do the problem.